What's up guys, it's Taze and welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So, I'm back with another daily upload. Um, yesterday I showed you how to make a nice pixelation transition effect that has been used on face quite a lot. And yeah, if you haven't seen that already, be sure to check that out and also my other like 50 plus tutorials. So yeah, in this tutorial I'll show you how to make this nice little um, light ray effect without any um, plugins like trap code shine which probably don't uh, not all of you guys have so here's another exa example let me just disable the color correction to make this cool. okay without color correction this looks t terrible but I know why so yeah um, there's another example here so these light rays uh, react to the surrounding area let me just show that to you here and it looks pretty nice and it's really simple to do so um, I'll show it to you on this ghost clip even though that game looks crappy as fuck but I just thought the thing with the trees and stuff really shows um, how this works so yeah let me just delete everything um, I'll keep the color correction on because otherwise I can't stand looking at this game um, so what yeah when I do it uh, wow me failing to talk there uh, what you want to do now is um, find the spot where you want the light rays to start. So like right after the shot, something. Or find the frame where you can see the sky in a better way. So um, then just hold down Control, Shift, and D, and that's gonna split the layer. And then just extend the bottom one. And what you want to do then is go to the effects and pre presets and type in threshold. Um, and just drag the threshold effect onto that. So what you want to do now is um, increase the level till you can only see the whites in the sky. Uh, well, not only the whites, but to make the uh, sky stand out more because everything that's white now is going to emit the light rays later. So yeah, uh, what you want to do then is just grab your pen tool and make a simple mask around the sky. So then just press F to feather that out a bit by like 50 or something. And yeah, what you can go there and feather uh, and ma um, keyframe the mask by holding down MM to bring up the mask options and then keyframe the mask. But <coughs> I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. So yeah, what you want to do then is um, change the blending mode to add which is going to make the white stand out and get rid of all the black and then go to um, go and add the CC radial fast blur to the top layer and you can already see some of the light rays there but you, you want them to emit from the sky so grab this little thing in the middle and just place that somewhere in the sky so what you want to do then is bring up the amounts by quite a lot so you can see the light rays perfectly and yeah let's go back a few frames so <clears throat> I want them to start like here and then just keyframe the amount and another thing we're gonna add is a fast blur keyframe that as well and if you want to change <coughs> change the colors of the light rays, it's really simple. Just add the simple tritone effect, and you can change the midtones color to pretty much whatever color you want. I think orange looks kind of nice. So yeah, uh, what you want to do then is go forward a couple frames to like where you want the light rays to stop. So like about here and then just bring down the amount a bit not too much because when you bring it down to like all the way it's gonna look terrible so just like a bit like that and we're gonna increase the blurriness to make this like smoother and another thing we're gonna do is press T for opacity make a simple keyframe uh, and bring it down to zero and then go forward like 20 or 30 frames and bring it up to 100 
so that way they slowly get blurred and faded out and that looks pretty nice so yeah this is pretty much how to do this simple light rays effect um, you can go there just change the colors some blue green I don't know whatever you prefer so yeah this has been a tutorial on how to do this without plugins I'll probably post another tutorial on how to do this with trap coach shine and pretty much add the light rays to your color correction so you have them like in your whole edit like in my face K edit you probably saw that and yeah I'll post a tutorial on that soonish so if you have guys have any requests then be sure to write them in the comments, leave a like if this helped you, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.